Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you had a great Christmas. Now we are going to make the last video for this year. This is a New Year's hat that I am going to work on right here. And I am making a uh, pattern for the hat first. And you saw how I made this cone. And then I'm just cutting it into shape and cutting it yeah, as tiny or as big as I want it to. And I am going to take off the uh, tape again, fold it out and then make another pattern that I am going to use to make these hats from. So I'm just making the line so I know how big it is and making my pattern as I want it. And now I'm just going to uh, trace it onto a piece of paper and cut that out. Well, I'm just cutting it out. When I am happy with my pattern, I am tracing that on a piece of thicker paper and I'm tracing as many as I want to make. Then I am cutting it out and I am folding it. Well, first I am kind of bending it with my fingers and then I'm folding it over a tool that I have here that have kind of the cone shape that I want it to be. And I'm gluing it together. Make as many as you want. You can make it in some kind of a pretty paper if you want to so they are pretty from the start of but I have some special paper that I'm going to use over these. I have these iridescent pipe cleaners and this metallic paper that is um, self-adhesive and I'm going to use that to decorate these hats for a really really pretty New Year's hat. I am cutting out a piece of this paper that is big enough for the hat and then I am taking the backing here off and I'm carefully wrapping my hat in this paper. And then I can always cut off the excess uh, here at the bottom. Then I am taking the pipe cleaner and I am wrapping it around something that have around the same size as the hat, uh, the edge of the hat. And I'm wrapping it around twice, cutting it off in length. And then I'm kind of wrapping it in on itself, this pipe cleaner. And when I like the shape and the uh, wrap it around thingy here, then I am gluing it on the bottom of my hat. I am using my Fabri-Tec glue for this and I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue at the bottom edge of my hat and squeezing this little ring of the pipe cleaner down over it and keeping it there for a few minutes. And that's all there is for the little hats here. So the hats are done and I actually think they came out, came out really, really cute. Now to something totally different. I don't know what these are called, but for that I'm using the backside of a paper napkin and a strip of this uh, paper here. I am taking off the back uh, of the paper and I'm actually putting it back on to um, protect a strip of this uh, self-adhesive paper. And then I'm just gluing it to the napkins. And I'm gonna do this with all three of my colors, but you can do it just like you want to. Then I am cutting this out of the napkin, just uh, clumsy like this one, because I want to save the rest of my napkin. I part the two layers of the napkin and make sure that this is really sticking to the uh, tape part of this paper. And I'm just ripping off the napkin 
of this piece, uh, making sure that there's no sticky spaces left here on the part from the napkin here. Just tear it off. Then I am cutting a lot of tiny, tiny cuts in this paper all the way down the paper. I'm actually doing around two centimeters. Uh, I do not cut in the part where it is still sticky. And I am taking this off and placing with the sticky side on a toothpick, just wrapping it around like that. And I have one of these uh, New Year's uh, decoration thingy here. And you can again make as many of these as you want. I'm sanding the ends a bit so it's not too rough where I cut it off. So that was the second thing. And now for the last part I have for you guys. First of all, I am coloring a toothpick white. I don't know what this is called, but uh, here we go. I printed out this paper here and you can find the uh, printout in the info box below or you can find something cool yourself for this. As you saw, I cut off a tiny bit of the length of the print and I cut it down the middle so I have two from one of these. And now I'm rolling it onto a thin knitting pin that I have here. I think it's a 1.5 millimeters. Uh, and I'm just using this glue stick that I have here to glue this little piece of paper into a tube. So this knitting pin is just the same thickness as my toothpicks, to toothpick, toothpick. So if you don't have this knitting needle, you can use your toothpick for that. So I made quite some of these tubes and now I am cutting off the point of my toothpick and then I am going to cut them in half a centimeters length so that I have a few of these for my tubes, one for each tube. I do sand these small pieces a tiny bit so that I don't have any messy corners or yeah, I want them to be nice. And then of course I am painting them after I do this, I just don't show it right here. I glue one of these small pieces into one of the tubes but only uh, a tiny bit of it into the tube. I want to make the toothpick uh, being showed here so you can still see the toothpick. Then I'm placing it so that I have the seam uh, showing up here and I'm flattening out the paper. Um, you can do that with some kind of tool, but you don't need it. You can use your fingers for that. Then I'm just rolling it up carefully like this and I pop in a tiny bit of glue to make sure it is staying as I want it to. And that's all there is for this little craft. If you know what these are called, please tell me. Thank you for watching and have a very nice new year and I will see you next year.